Good morning, everybody. XJ81X here. What we're going to do is do a little bit of a project. We got the boiler going on here. We got a Honeywell, which makes it low voltage for uh, for up there. It looks like they built this wall without consideration of the boiler. I got uh, speaker wire there, which goes to this thing, you know, which is the lawn sprinkler right there. We're going to take this down today. We're going to pull those speaker wires out. We're going to cut them. We're going to put them in a bag because they're sticky. We're going to maybe disconnect a couple of outlets down here because all these wires go up and over into this thing. We're going to connect a light for in there because it's dark. And I found out that the second floor is low voltage because of this thing. There's another one of these, these things down there. So I just want to remove this wall and I just want to expose some of this stuff because I want to put this, make the boiler nice again. Because this speaker wire goes above the boiler. It's stupid. So I'm going to put it on time lapse for what it's worth. Here's a little carpet, washer and dryer as your previous videos. <clears throat> Depending on how far I get, I want to take this, this whole, all this down, and I want to take this down. But I'll see how far I get. Okay, put it on time lapse. Enjoy.
Yo! Uh, I do not know how the time lapse came out. Hopefully good. If not, I'll slow it down. This is what we did so far. Take a quick look as I took the, tr uh, the trim off of this, the trim off of this, off of this. Like this wall came out to approximately about here because these two pipes are behind a wall. They're fine. They're not, they're hot. I'm not gonna like really crazy. I moved this up. This is the uh, 120 volts that convert to 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 today, Junior. <laughs> no, 24 volts. I got a little jumper here because I ripped it out. Sorry, I got a little jumper. I ripped it out because it went up. Uh, take a look, quick look. Drywall and the wood went up to here. They obviously put the plumbing in there. It's not bad. It gives me a chance to like wrap it, and they put duct tape around it. I guess because these clamps are, uh, what are these camps clamps called? They're, ah, uh, shoot, I'm dating myself. They're industrial for something. Anyway, uh, this was a mess. I didn't really choose to tape it because once I go, uh, you know, I just go. So this was a mess. This had all the old sprinkler line in it. This line I had to double check because it's the old 120 volts going up into the room upstairs. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this piece came down as one. That's like great wood right there. That's, that's great two by fours. That came down as one piece. That was great. That was just right up here. That's great. That's what I wanted opened. So you got your hot and cold, you got your lines, you got all sorts of shit. This is the phone line that's in the uh, kitchen. Um, they had the right idea with this. This is the cold, but. Excuse me, sorry. Okay, we took, uh, my fiance took this wall down. I think it's on time lapse. Boop, come out, came out here. All this stuff in here. This is the uh, temporary fix for the uh, boiler. It, it went up here and went to a junction box up in the wall. I hate junction box. I used to be an electrician. It, this was closed. You don't close shit. So I brought it back. I have to staple this. I went to Lowe's to get staples. And I put it here. There is a 15 amp circuit breaker dedicated to this. Um, according to JK18, you shouldn't have that because you should put it on for like a like a light or a TV, so you know your boiler's not working. Uh, this is the line, excuse me, for the low voltage that I'm going to run now. I'm going to run that now. This is for um, the den radiant heat and the garage, which is this stuff right here. So that's about it. So. You know, I won't waste your time taping, but that's pretty much it. We've ripped this down. We're good. Good process. I bought another one of these. This is one of those. Hopefully I could install it. Fucking shouldn't be that hard. I reinstalled. I put this back here. This wasn't... This was turned sideways because when they constructed this place. There was a 2x4 here. Uh, just the shit they did. But now I'm making it right. So uh, this is a mess. Hopefully I have to fix this. So I think I fixed it. We'll see. Alright. That's enough for now. Hey, what's up going on everybody? Motherfucker, I wasn't, I was not going to set this thing up uh, and might have you watch this uh, screaming and yelling. So long story short, okay, as you might remember the last video, uh, this is the connection I made. Comes up and over, goes down through this bay, stapled. Nice. You know, like I said, once I, I'm never, bo I'm never boxing this in. And if I do box it in, it's going to be out to here, you know, and out to here, it's going to be a big box, and it's going to be drop ceiling. So we come down, and let's just double check. Okay. Okay, this right one was here. Like I told you, it was down low. You could see where the old hole was. And basically, I bought, a, I bought one for the left. Like I said, there's one down here. Um... That's a thermostat. I'm sorry, that's a 24 volts for the motors. And then right there, there's one. So this is for the second floor. 
This is the 24 volt that is for these two jobbers, whatever, that's a whole different story. I redid these connections right there. So that's it. Uh, this was the box that was twisted and moved this way. These wires I have to fix, they just go to the light. I gotta run it all back. This is all stuff that runs back. And uh, I fixed it. So this is the original BX, hot neutral and a switch leg that come down and over into this one. And this one, who knows how old it is. So left is neutral, the middle is hot, and the red is switched. Converts it to 24 volts, which that means you could use a low voltage thermostat. So I just copied the same thing over here. Hot neutral switch, brand new wire. Um, obviously this wire is different the switch leg for each um, um, I'm losing circulator would be different so I, I wrote it down here check this out <laughs> this is my little cheap board I wrote it all down oh the black goes to this you know like boiler switch top of the stairs blah 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 because what I did was dinner's ready oh what I did was I came down off the switch which goes underneath the stairs, comes down, made another one, and then brought it up and over. And power is this one, brand new power, nicely ran, labeled, goes down, and does its purpose. So these should just go on. one over here. This one has actually a whole diagram on the front of it. This one should just go on. I love it when it just slides on and it just works. Then you just hit this jobber. One second. And that's it. I'll label it. Is it crooked? No, they're pretty straight. The sticker is crooked on the left, that's why. So the right one would be for the den and the garage. The middle one would be for the living room, excuse me, the living room, kitchen, and den. Excuse me, the living room, kitchen, and dining room. Jesus Christ. And then the original one all the way down low, right here, is for the master. Allegedly everything works. Oh, I'm just going to show you what I did upstairs. Give me a second. Hey everybody, good morning. <laughs> I love doing the intro. It's like so... <clears throat> okay, so what you just previously watched, depending on how I edit it, is uh, me and my fiance demoing the basement wall. This way I could access the boiler. This way I could access the thermostat wires, which I could access... The, what you just watched is basically doing the 120 volt to 24 volts. Uh, what I wanted to show you last night, but I just decided to clean up and relax, is this is where the old uh, Honeywell therm th uh, thermostat was. The old, old school one. So I took it off because one night it didn't work. And I put the two wires together and I tested it with a tester and it was 120 volts. I said, oh, okay, we still have 100 and 20 volts in the house somewhere. No problem. So I took it out, which you can't see is, there's a little hole up here. I said, ah, oh, man, now me being, you know, who I was in my previous life, I said, ah, oh, man. So I go downstairs and I realize that downstairs is the old two cloth wire, no ground, just a hot and a neutral in that old black cloth. I come upstairs and I look at the wires and I say, wow, that's new Romex. It's gray. But it was new Romex. I said between point A and point B, there's a junction box somewhere. Son of a bitch. People that, I don't care what it is, don't hide junction boxes. Your basements, everything should go to like a point in your basement and you should label the junction boxes and then branch out from there. God only knows if there's anything, you know, lay, laying around. So long story short, <clears throat> I found it that it came up through the beam. And this is what the interlude is. I had to cut a hole here 
and pop this out and there was a round 1900 box right here. The old wire went down and the new wire went through one bay and out. So long story short, I fucking ripped the wire down from the basement. I sent the wire back up because there was a staple here and there was a staple here. And it came right back up. <clears throat> Low voltage wire. Boom. Had this already in my inventory and I put this there. Because what happens is when you cook, the stove and the whole kitchen gives off a false reading and it gets really hot when it's when it's on this wall and then this baseboard right here and then there's a, an old radiator system behind the couch what happens is it doesn't work it stays hot and then this stays cold so I figure let's put it here for now it's always you know it's a little hole I'll, you know I'm not constructing this room or painting this room yet you know worst case scenario I could put it here but then I figure if I put it here when you open the door you're gonna get that draft but you're gonna get the draft anyway so we put it here, eye level, you know, you don't have to worry about the height, it's not like it's a switch. If there was a switch here, maybe I would put it, but that's it. So we have it set to, nope, it says it right now, it's the bottom is, excuse me, it says 246, it's 66 degrees, increments of 2, 60 and 70, and I just put it to 66. So we'll see. You know, if it maintains, supposedly it's supposed to go down two degrees, and then it kicks on the heat for two degrees, and then the longer the heat stays in the house, and then that's it. So that's it. So uh, as you're watching this, I don't know if I'm going to do one or two parts demoing the wall slash boiler. I think I demoed the wall. It took like two hours, but then when you do fast mode, I'm shutting all the lights. When you do fast mode. It's hilarious. It's like 22 seconds. So I'm going to upload it now and I'm going to play with it. But that's it. Coming along with the new house. You know, you can't see nothing. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and enjoy.